Here's a crazy new use for Flex Seal. <laughs> so that's a gas tank leak. Simple yeah. rust out. Yeah. Quite dry in parts. So hopefully it's gonna be dry enough to get a good adhesion. I'm gonna <laughs> okay, let's assess the situation out. It's still coming up damp to the touch. Where well, it looks like this flux seal spray is actually washed away, maybe. That's a good solid putty. I'm not going to stir it up because it's oxidation is your enemy in this. You got to very quickly take that, apply it to the business end of this trowel. And then the spray will go over everything just to give it a seal. That's the plan. So a little thin layer of the flex seal paste and then spray some of the flex seal spray on top of it to uh, finish the seal. Fun. And it may hold for a while. The flex seal paste applied. So there you go. Sealing the gas tank using the flex seal paste backed up by this flux seal spray, although the spray was a little bit watery near the bottom of the can. So we're going to load it up with actual pure gas instead of the ethanol gas so that I can say it's uh, gasoline, not the ethanol, making the change. And what we have here is something I probably should have done instead of all the other experiments before, but this is fresh patch spread out about an eighth of an inch thick. This is a piece that's partially, like more than top and on the bottom, partially set up inside the container. This is actually set up inside the container after the first use. It's already fully cured. So I'm going to see how this reacts when I put gasoline on it. Pour it into partially dissolved first. So you're going over to the fresh paste and I'm going to drop a little bit more for this one. That should be all that's required to do this test. Because the question was whether it sets up or whether it just plain dissolves and from what I'm seeing gasoline just eats right through this stuff after a little bit. It doesn't take a day to cut through it like a quarter inch of the material. So we're going to see how long it takes for the gasoline to just eat this up whether it's been cured and set or whether it's been fresh.
day two on this experiment and apparently the gasoline evaporates faster than it dissolves the flex seal so I'm gonna try to keep the gas from evaporating as much as I can and put more in than I really wanted to in the first place but again I don't recommend anyone do this in their own garage but the thing I'm gonna change here is I'm gonna put a lid on it see if that still evaporates in one day like it had. Well, let's see how the flux seal and gasoline experiment has worked out in the past couple days. Let's get this all the way out of my way. Gas kept evaporating on me during the experiment, but I think we have enough here to make my point. There's a little bit of gasoline. Gasoline is light up the thing I'm gonna just move napalm. This did not set up in the presence of gasoline. I poured gasoline over this and had underneath the gasoline. And it looks like right here you can see where the flex seal has actually been dissolving and mixing in with the gasoline. Which should explain the weep hole leak that it had the second time around. But this did not set up and it did also dissolve. So both problems were happening when you mix gasoline and flex seal. So this didn't really dissolve per se because this is already dried from being dried inside the can. So well, I'm sure there's signs of it dissolving a little bit. It didn't fully set up. This is a combination, and it looks like it didn't set up at all. So both problems exist. It will not set up in the presence of gasoline, especially after direct contact with gasoline, but even just in a covered pan, it seems to have still done that. And it dissolves in gasoline. And get that to show. It also did not stick to the metal where it should have. This is a clean pan. So there you go. I could have just done this first and avoided the whole process, but I didn't need to. It was not worth doing. I wouldn't recommend anybody try fixing a gas tank leak with Flex Seal or any product in the Flex Seal line. JB Weld. And if it's just as bad as what I showed you in the original video of mine, you just have to replace the tank. That's all there is to it. The tank isn't the major cost. The labor to put it in is the only real cost.